Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome friends, Facebook friends, and folks that follow on Twitter and other places. I'm glad that you've tuned in today to Mid Morning Manna. Give me about six, seven, maybe 10 minutes maximum if you listen to the music that follows. And uh, I wanna talk to you today and continue in our thought and our theme for this week, five church members that every pastor would like to have. I could say they would love to have if we had these five types of church members that were filling our pews and filling our chairs and teaching in the Sunday school and, go, and running our bus routes and van routes and going soul winning and doing these things. And I gave you on Monday, uh, number one. Number one is spirit-filled church members. The Bible says, be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the spirit, Ephesians 5, 8, uh, 18. And then uh, on Tuesday, we talked about ha having separated church members, church members who have come out from the world. The Lord said, come out from the world and be ye separate, saith the Lord. Come out from the world. Be God said, I don't want you all wrapped up in the worldly things. And I, I saved you to one day take you to heaven. You won't even be in this old world and there'll be a new heaven, new earth. But right now, I want you to live otherworldly. Don't be in the world, come out from the world, be separate from the world. What the Bible says uh, about Christian lifestyle, about using profanity, about fighting, about uh, being a, a false accuser, what it says. You know, I mean, so many things. Talks about, Bible talks about dress standards and the differences between men and women and all those kind of things. And are you willing, just like I've asked, uh, are you filled with the Holy Spirit now? Are you willing to follow God's rules and, and uh, obey? him. Some people call that legalism. Well, God's the lawgiver, and I, so I guess maybe it is legalism then. Call it what you want to. I don't care, but we ought to have a heart that says, I want to obey God. And if God said it, not only do I believe it, not only does that settle it, but also I want to practice it. Doesn't that make sense? That's what we ought to be doing. So separated church members. And I said on Wednesday, we talked about serving church members, church members that are busy serving the Lord. Be ye kindly affection one to another and brotherly love in honor, preferring one another, serving our Christian brothers and sisters in Christ, teaching in Sunday school, singing in the choir, ushering uh, and serving as trustees and staff members and whatever else, just finding a place where I can plug in in and be counted as someone who's doing a work for the Lord Jesus Christ. And I want to have significant service. I want my service to be worth something. I don't want to just have, you know, okay, I'm going to just go stand in the parking lot. No, if you're going to be in the parking lot, then be a greeter, be welcoming people, be helping folks find that uh, closest parking spot or whatever would be appropriate for them or where the handicapped places are and, and be a servant, serving church members. Well, today on this Thursday, June the 24th. I want to talk to you on this subject. I want you to think about, as we think about the five uh, kind of church members that every pastor would love to have, and, and the number four is stewardship faithful church members. God wants us to be faithful stewards. And over in the book of Malachi, you know, you know where we're going here with this. Malachi chapter three, verse number 10, bring ye all the tithes into the storehouse, and that there may be meat in mine house and prove me now herewith, saith the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing that you shall not have room enough to receive. Oh boy, what a great God we have. And he wants us to be faithful stewards, faithful stewardship, stewardship in our time, stewardship in our talents, using the, God gave you certain talents and abilities and skills, use them for the glory of God. God gave you 168 hours every week. Use that, uh, set aside specific amount of time to say, I'm gonna serve God. I'm, I'm gonna set aside enough time that I can be in Sunday school, I can be in Sunday morning service, I'm gonna be in Sunday night service, I'm gonna be in Wednesday night service. Now we're talking like Dr. Lee Robertson who said, three to thrive, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and boy, that is, 
is that's really needed among God's people today. Uh, a visitor shows up and someone maybe that he knew came to this church and he thought they were pretty good Christians and he shows up on Wednesday night uh, to see what kind of church it really is and he looks around and that person that he knows that comes to this church that's invited him to church isn't even there. And he says, does anybody know so-and-so? And they say, well, yeah, I know. Say, well, are, are they out of town? Or you say, well, you know what? Really, we don't know. <laughs> They're not here. Didn't tell us they weren't coming. Didn't tell us why. So we really don't know. It's really not. You know, and that's not that it's all our business. What is my business is to be faithful. Be faithful. And faithful in my attendance. Faithful with my time, with my talent. And faithful with my tithes and offerings to the Lord. And he said in, in 1 Corinthians chapter 4 and verse Verse number two, the Bible says, moreover, it is required in stewards that a man be found faithful. We ought to be faithful in our stewardship, not just when it feels good, not just when uh, when we've got a little extra cash that we'll give we'll give our tithe this week, but boy, not last week I couldn't do it because I spent too much. We went on we went on this road trip and I spent my I spent too much. Or or we've got this other bill that came up. And look, you put the tithe. This is just something that belongs. The tithe, the Bible says that the tithe belongs to God. It's God's. And he said, he said, oh, if we went back and read in Malachi 10, I'm not going to preach a whole sermon out of Malachi 10, but God said, when you don't tithe, you're robbing God. You're a God robber when you don't tithe. That's what God said. And, and he said, I want you to be good stewards. So that's our thought for today. God wants to use you in a wonderful way. He wants to use you as a spirit-filled Christian and a separated Christian and a serving uh, other church member Christian and a good steward of what he's put in your life. Use it for his honor, for his glory. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for our fine folks who tune in on a regular basis to Mid-Morning Manna. And then, Lord, maybe there's some first-timers today. And, uh, Lord, I pray that if anyone does have a sincere question, that you give them the boldness just to go down there in that comment quite a second and ask me that question. And uh, Lord, be more than happy to communicate. And Father, I pray you'll bless. And if there's anyone listening today that's not sure of heaven, help them to get in touch with us. Let us help them with that matter. Father, we give you the praise. We love you. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. and flow and I'm all packed up and ready to go.